Your Lab Conco Fume Hood is a safety device designed to keep you protected while working with dangerous fumes, gases, vapors, aerosols, or dust. Make sure the selected enclosure is appropriate for the work you intend to do. Consult your safety officer for a reference on what type of safety equipment is required. The safety tips in this video apply to chemical fume hoods specifically. As lab air is drawn into the fume hood, it mixes with the hazardous vapors on the interior, which is then drawn back, away from the user, and safely evacuated out the top of the building. Proper use of your fume hood will promote the safety of yourself, your equipment, and those around you. Let's briefly define the common components found in Lab Conco fume hoods. The sash is the glass barrier at the opening of your fume hood and acts as a physical barrier to what is being contained on the inside of the hood. Baffles are panels located at the back of the hood and are designed to direct airflow back and away from the user. The airfoil, or sill, is an aerodynamic component at the bottom of the face opening on the hood, which allows air to enter the fume hood even when the sash is fully closed. The baffle and airfoil are critical performance features of your fume hood. Do not operate a fume hood that has had either of these components removed. Fume hoods often have services available on the front of the hood. This can include water, air, gas, and electrical fixtures. Each fume hood is required to have an airflow measuring device to validate safe operating conditions. Do not use the fume hood if a monitoring device is not present or is displaying an alarm condition. Resolve the alarm condition prior to returning to work within the hood. Fume hoods need to be certified regularly to validate proper functionality and will often feature a certification sticker clearly visible on the front fascia. If your fume hood is past the date for recertification, stop any work inside the hood until it has been tested and recertified by the proper authority. Fume hood safety should be taken very seriously. You should regularly review the recommended safe practices listed on your Lab Conco fume hood's corner post. Do not place your head inside the hood. The fume hood interior should be considered a contaminated space at all times. Potential loss of containment increases significantly at distances within 6 inches of the plane of the sash. Place all hazards beyond this threshold and be sure to wipe up any spills immediately. Elevate equipment above the work surface. Equipment left flat on the work surface interferes with airflow needed below to efficiently clear contaminants. Keep the sill and baffle unobstructed. Obstructing these baffles can cause uneven face velocities and potential loss of containment. Do not use the hood for storage. Chemicals should be capped and stored in the appropriate chemical storage cabinet when not in use. Adjust the sash to the smallest opening possible when in use. Locate the sash at a comfortable height just above the elbows and look into the hood through the glass. Close the sash when the hood is unattended. Do not place flammable solvents near heat, flame, or sparks. If flammable materials and heat sources must coexist in the same hood, take great care and separate them as much as possible to avoid an accidental fire. Do not use perchloric acid in a fume hood or system that is not specifically designed for that hazard. Improper application can result in catastrophic ignition of perchlorate buildup. Do not use the hood with biohazards. Remember, your chemical fume hood is designed for a very specific family of hazardous substances. Working with biological hazards requires the use of an enclosure or cabinet classified for biological applications. Take protecting your laboratory environment seriously and pay attention to recommended practices when using any chemical fume hood.